Okay, hi, I'm uh, Simeon Ludwell. I work for TC Group. Um, and today I'm going to present to you our IPD series by Lab Ripon. Um, it's a 1U power amplifier. Uh, there's two models. The top one is a 1200, which is 600 watts per channel. The bottom one is the 2400, which is 1200 watts a channel. Uh, the product comes with standard uh, analog inputs, so two analog inputs with link through, an AES input, so that's two channel AES with link through as well. On the back also, to connect to the computers, there is network cable. Uh, this can be TCP IP, you can use it on Wi Fi, uh, and it connects to the software. The software runs on PC and Mac. Um, we can group up to 30 units in a system and what we have also is X, uh, sorry, NL4 outputs and binding post outputs. So if we go to the front panel of the unit, everything that's inside the unit can be controlled from the front panel. We can push the menu system, go in and we can recall and store presets. We can go in and also find our meters so we can actually meter inputs, we can meter outputs and limiters. We can go to a device config so we can actually set up IP addressing, we can um, rename the units in the system and the namings will transfer into the software as well or we can do that vice versa, we can do it in the software and it will go back into the devices. Like I said, everything can be controlled either from the software or from the hardware. We can control 10 parametric EQs per input, 10 parametric EQs per output. We have two seconds of delay on the outputs and on the inputs. We also have crossovers and we also have our patented software controlled voltage peak limiter. So we can match very closely the power of the amplifier to the load of the speaker. So if I just quickly go into the software now, so if we click on this mixer tab here, this will take us into this unit. And we can see we have our input levels, and we can do a mix between these. We also have something called AES to analog failover. Now this comes from our PLM flagship series, and this allows us to fall over from an AES signal, so if you lose the AES signal, it automatically, redundantly falls over to analog. If we go into our level screen, this now gives us the mix of input, output and limiter all on one screen, so it's very quick and easy to set up. Our input EQ screen, so 10 parametric EQs here that you can control, type in the numbers, it's touch screen friendly, again Mac and PC. On our outputs, crossovers, as well as our parametric EQ, delay, you can see our output levels here. Here we can name units, we can mute channels, we can also recall and store presets, and there's up to 100 presets per device. So just quickly going back out, this is our group view and our overview, it's called the global view. We can see all of our units here and we can make groupings between units so we can actually uh, group parameters together such as maybe an input EQ or input level. Um, basically this is one of our entry level products but with the pedigree from our flagship series. So thanks for listening and uh, hope to see you soon.